All right, in this video, I'm going to show you all about domain and range and what they are. So what domain and range really are, are just the values included in an equation. So let's take a look at the definitions of each. So domain is going to be all of the x values included in an equation. And x values, remember that's x-axis, it's going to go from left to right. So domain covers all the x values from going from left to right. Range, you can guess is the opposite. It's going to be all the y values included in an equation. And again, that's y-axis, which means it's going up and down. So let's take a look at some examples here of domain and how domain might be written. So again, domain covers x values, and it usually is written like this. So you have x in between two values. So let's say 2 and 5. So this right there, it's a little confusing to read, but what this really just means is it's all x values between 2 and 5. So one tip or trick to make it easier is you can, draw, you can just cross out these uh, inequality signs right here if that helps you, and then you just know this is showing all x values between 2 and 5. So let's look at our number line down here. So again, here let's say this is 2 and this is 5. So the domain is going to be all values between 2 and 5. So let's bring out the is it in the equation box and we'll give a few numbers and say if it's in this domain right here. So uh, again, we're looking at all values between 2 and 5. So let's say 4. 4 falls on the number line right there. That is between 2 and 5, so yes, it's going to be in the that equation. Uh, what about 10? Is 10 in that? No, it is not. It's outside 2 and 5, so no, that's not going to be included. What about negative 2? Negative 2 is right there on the number line. As you see, it's outside. It's not in between 2 and 5, so no, that is not included in that domain. Let's try another one. Uh, and this one, it, it's uh, going to be between negative 8 and 17. So our domain is going to be all x values between negative 8 and 17. And again, to make it less confusing, you can cross those out if it helps. So on our number line, let's say negative 8's here, 17 here. And again, our domain is going to be all values in between negative 8 and 17. So let's look at it in the equation box, number 12. Uh, 12 falls right there on the number line. So yes, that is in the domain, negative 8 and 17. Let's try another one, 20. 20, just outside, but is not in, so that's going to be a no. Now let's look at another way domain can be written. So this one, it's not in between. There's a cutoff line, so just read the inequality. Again, it's like a flashlight shining towards the bigger side, so x is the bigger side in this. So the domain means it's going to be all values more than 7. Because again, see how it's opening up towards 7? So that means the domain is going to be more than 7. So if we draw 7 on our number line, it's going to be all x values more than 7, essentially all the way to infinity. So let's say that in the equation box, and first number is going to be 1. And so 1, uh, see it there on the number line, that is not in the domain right there. It's less than 7. Let's try another one. Let's try 28 right here. 28, that does fall more than 7. So that's going to be, yes, that's included in the domain. Let's try one more example of domain here. And in this one, we're going to go x is less than 15. Again, remember the inequality opens up towards 15. So if the domain is x less than 15, it means our domain is going to be all x values less than 15. So let's find 15 on our number line. And again, the inequality is shining towards 15, so that means x is going to be any number less than 15 all the way to negative infinity. So let's look at the in the equation box. We'll look at our first example, and we'll go 19. 19 on a number line right there. It's just a little bit outside, but again, that is not included in this domain. Uh, so those that's domain, and now let's look at range. And so again, I got uh, the axis is up and down, not left to right. So for y, it's going to be written the same way. It's just with y instead of x. So in this case, we're going to have negative 6 uh, is the small number, 10 is the big number, cross them out if it helps you out. So again, this reading this, this is just going to say 
our range is going to be all y values between negative 6 and 10. So let's locate it on our, our vertical number line. We got negative 6 right there, 10 right there. So our range is going to be all values in between these two on the vertical axis. So let's take out the in the equation box. Let's first look at one number, 4. And 4 falls on our number line somewhere there roughly. And that is definitely included in the range. Let's try another one. Uh, let's try 13. So 13 is going to be right there on our vertical number line. And as you can see, that is just a little outside. So no, that is not included in this range. We'll try one more with these values. And we're going to go with negative 2 in the, in the equation box. Let's find it on the number line. It's right there because then it, remember it goes 0, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 5, and then negative 6. So yes, that is in between negative 6 and positive 10. So yes, that is included in that range. Let's try it with it written a little bit different way. This time it's not in between any two values. It's just one value and it's going to be more or less than. So let's see which one it is. So again, the inequality is opening up towards y, which means y is going to be more than 100. So our range is going to be all y values more than 100. So let's find it on the number line. And then our range is going to be all values more than 100 all the way to positive infinity. So let's take a look at an example. 51, say on our number line, 51 is right about here. Uh, this is obviously a scaled number line right here. So that falls outside of the range. So no, that is not in this range. Try another one. Let's say 115. So 115 on a number line zoomed in number line and it's right there so yes that is included in our range because it's more than 100. Try one last example on this one 101 it's just right above 100 but it is more than 100 so yes that is in the range. Try one more example and in this case we got y is going to be less than 2 because again the inequality is opening up towards 2 so our range is going to be all y values less than 2. So let's find 2 on a number line. And then again, our range is going to be all y values less than 2, all the way to negative infinity. So take a look at example 11. 11 on our vertical number line is going to be above 2. So that is not going to be included in our range. Try one more. We'll go with negative 8. And negative 8 is below 2 on our vertical number line. So yes, that is going to be included in our equation with that range. So before you go, just going to say remember the difference. And again, sometimes you'll still screw this up from time to time. But just remember domain is going to be all x values. And again, that's the x axis going from left to right. And then range is going to be y values. That's going to be the y axis, which goes vertical up and down. That is the full thing of domain and range. I'll have one more video about graphing with domain and range.